Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we have a really quite special beer actually, I've, I always enjoy these kind of beers when they come out. So this one is a collaboration between Dugas Ale och Porta Breguery from Jutebori, Gothenburg here in Sweden and Omnipoyo who are one of the phantom breweries of Sweden based though mainly in Stockholm in Sweden but most of their beer is brewed in Belgium. And this is a beer that hasn't been released outside of Sweden yet as far as I know. So this is the Anagram, which is a blueberry cheesecake stout. It's an imperial stout at 12% and it's another one of these Omnipoyo stouts that they like to put random ingredients in. As many of you all know, Omnipoyo do this very, very well. So I'm interested to see what kind of dimension Dugas add to it because they like to do a lot of the fruit beers and some sour beers and things like that. So this should be a really quite interesting beer to try. Dugas, of course, do some really quite nice beers as well. So this one should be pretty damn awesome. And it was rated at 94 on Rate Beer when I checked it out. And I'm having it, I'm reviewing this one for you on the day that it was released in Sistium Blog at the 20th of May 2016. But you'll see the review in a couple of weeks time after that. But anyway, let's get on to the review itself. So as always, I'll tell you a little bit about the breweries involved here. If you do want to get straight to the tasting, just fast forward. All the usual links are in the description below. That's the Dugas and Omnipo, your websites, my reviews of both breweries beer that I've done already. More will be added in the near future, of course. There's all the usual social media. Make sure you check that out. And if you want to see more beer reviews, do subscribe to the channel. As always, to those of you watching in Sweden, please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review here. So anyway, to tell you a little bit about Omnipoyo first. So Omnipoyo was founded in 2011 by Henok Fenty, a longtime home brewer, and Carl Grandin, who is actually a clothing designer. But the two met one day and they decided to start a brewery together after discussing the Swedish beer scene, which at the time was very, very insular. And of course, at that time in other Scandinavian countries, it was pretty insular too. But they wanted to reinvigorate beer in Sweden from a stylistic and from a gastronomic sense. And as you will know, they are very, very experimental. So they felt that the partnership between a home brewer and a designer was actually really quite logical at the time. But the name itself is derived from omnipotent chicken, so omnipollo. Pollo, of course, Spanish for chicken. And they're gypsy brewers or phantom brewers, however you want to refer to them. So they've got no brewery of their own and they use spare capacity at other breweries. And as a result of this, they brew many collaboration beers as a result. For example, Yellow Belly, the, which is one of their most famous beers actually, was brewed with Buxton. And they currently export to over 20 different markets worldwide and they're continually expanding but recently they also opened up the Omnipoyo's hat in Stockholm which is a collaboration with Pizza Hat and this has become really popular and you can get a lot of the Omnipoyo beers on tap and some pretty damn awesome pizza as well and if you check out their website you'll see they've got 30 plus maybe even 40 beers now that they've done that might even be hitting 50 there's a lot of really good beer comes out from Omnipoyo and there will be many more to come so if you haven't tried Omnipoyo already make sure you definitely do so Dugas Ale of Porter Breguery to give them their full name so Dugas Brewery are based in Landvetter in the outskirts of Gothenburg on the west coast of Sweden. But the brewery was established in 2005 in Mullendal by Mikael Engström Duga and since 2010 it's focused solely on the brewing of top fermented beers. And due to the renaissance enjoyed by the Swedish craft beer scene in, in recent years actually, the brewery like, soon outgrew its original facility and they moved to Landvetter. And the old brewery had a capacity of 1,500 hectolitres per year, however the new brewery has a capacity of 8,000 thousand hectolitres per year so they're shoot they've scaled up quite a lot and they produce some pretty damn awesome beers as well the tropic thunder was one that i really like that was a collaboration that they did with stillwater artisanal and these guys have some really interesting fruit beers and that's what makes this kind of imperial stout all the more interesting because as you'll know omnipoyo are very very good for these kind of random flavoured imperial stouts, whereas Dugas are well known for having really nice fruit beers. Choose Cherry, there's a black currant one that I still need to try, a blueberry one I think as well. So both breweries are doing what they're good at in this beer, so it should be a very, very interesting one. But let's actually get on to the tasting of this one itself. So as I mentioned to you, this one is a 12% imperial stout, the anagram, and it's designed to taste like blueberry cheesecake. It's a blueberry cheesecake stout, so should be quite interesting. I'll let you have a little look at the artwork on this one quickly before we open it up, but it should be really quite nice. As you see, the sort of minimalist, I guess you would say, or modern minimalist, I don't know, you would say it from Omnipoyo. You can see the anagram in there, Omnipoyo, all the letters to make that up in there, and Dugas as well, so this one should be really nice. Plain black bottle cap, you can see anagram on the back there, 12% Ul, 
Swedish for beer, of course, and 33 centiliters. This one should be pretty damn awesome. So let's get this guy out and we'll get on with the tasting here. This one should be really, really good. So as you can see, a nice smoky opening on this one and you can smell immediately that nice fruity character coming off this. You can smell those blueberries right away and the cakey sweetness is really coming out as well with this beer. That smells really, really good actually. Oh yeah, and that's without even paying too much attention to the aroma. Oddly though, it doesn't seem to have too much of a head. You can see there's maybe just about a quarter of a finger of a frothy, beigey, chocolatey brown head there just fading away to be a very thin, foamy layer. But as you would expect, the beer is pretty much pitch black. You know, dark ebony rosewood is maybe a good way to describe it. Some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and quite a few little ones going up towards the bottom of the head there. But as is the case, with, if I remember rightly, with a lot of the Imperial Stouts you get from Omnipoyo, they're not so highly carbonated. They're very oily and very smooth. And you can see that on the pour, just how oily and smooth this beer is. But it looks very nice. A few little bubbles just going up towards the bottom of the head, but they are tiny. So I don't expect you guys to see that on the camera. And the head has just faded away to be a very, very thin layer now if anything there that's just turned into be a bit of black oil but let's have a look at the aroma for this one more closely we'll sugar it up a bit and we'll probably get some more head out of the beer but yeah you know you get that characteristic thing you get that characteristic smell of um, of an omnipoyo imperial stout you can smell the cheesecake in this one you've got that really cakey sweet malt base in here you can smell a little bit of cocoa, but there's a very sweet kind of milky chocolate coming out of this one. There's a bit of caramel in there too, but really it's that. What's interesting about this one is the cake and the vanilla notes that you're getting from that. There is a bit of nutty character too. It does actually smell quite similar to the other ones that I've had before, but the different thing is you're getting a bit of that blueberry ester. When you, when you go back from it a little bit, and just take a nose, you can smell some of that blueberry fruit ester coming out of this one. But it's really nice. That It does have a bit of that distinct cheesecake character in it. I've honestly never been such a fan of cheesecake, actually. It's something that I've just never really enjoyed that much. But that said, I'm not much of a cake person. But I really do love these uh, these cake beers that they seem to do from Omnipoyo. And Dugas, of course, their fruit beers are really nice as well. But this one, the aroma is definitely dominated by the Omnipoyo side of things. And when you let the beer settle, actually, I'm finding you're getting some more of these blueberry ester notes out of it. It's really nice. There's maybe just a little bit more of a kind of slightly reddish candied fruit ester from it. A little bit like these Haribo Star Mix sweets. But overall, you know, it is definitely more on the Imperial Stout side of things. It really leans towards that. Sweet chocolate. A little bit of a tiny little bit of toasted cocoa, some sweet caramel, a good cakey character. As I say, you can pick out those distinct kind of uh, cheesecake notes. There's some nuts in there. There's a lot of vanilla. I would say for me, there's a lot of a vanilla, a big vanilla presence in there. But definitely, those blueberry notes are coming out a bit more when you let it settle, and perhaps just a tiny little bit of some red fruity esters too. But the beer smells absolutely amazing, as always with these kind of these cake imperial stouts take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma because they are limited and they don't come along all that often. But let's get stuck into this beer then. This is the Anagram collaboration beer from Dugas who do some pretty damn awesome fruit beers and Omnipoyo who do some pretty damn awesome Imperial Stouts. The cheesecake, the blueberry cheesecake stout from Omnipoyo and Dugas Bravery, the Anagram Skoll. Oh yeah. Now I tell you something. What amazes me with these beers is that they are these big imperial stouts are quite similar, but they all have a very distinct taste. <laughs> it's 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 interesting that you know the they have a the, the trademark characteristics to these beer, but they all have a really unique taste. And just on that first wee sip, you can smell. You can really. You, you get more of the aroma and you get that nice little bit of Dugas fruity character just coming out and pipping it to the top as well. Yeah. 
that's another awesome awesome beer the first thing you, I'll say right away this is rated at 94 on uh, on rate beer maybe that's a little bit too low this beer is really really good if you see this beer you need to try it and it is very very unique that's a damn good beer no two doubts in my mind about that so as I always say with these big imperial stout beers sugar them around your palate and just let the whole mouth adjust to this one yeah that's absolutely beautiful and it's quite different from what you expect from the aroma there is a little bit more of a darker character to it which is really nice so yeah as is typical with these kind of Omnipoyo Imperial Stouts it's smooth, it's very very smooth in the malt base and the alcohol warmth is there, you can feel it and you can taste a little bit of the booziness in this beer but it's really kind of quite well concealed actually, it only really is apparent a little bit in the throat and you can taste a little bit of that boozy character in there but this is absolutely beautiful so in the middle of your palate you get this nice it's actually quite a dark chocolate in there. You can detect some of the cocoa powder and the roasted malt in there. There is a little bit more of the roasted malt comes out in the aftertaste. You can pick up just a little bit of that, but that's a more subtle component of the flavour. It's big and chocolatey. There's some caramel in there, a good bit of caramel sweetness, but that is quite subtle too. The focus is actually more on the kind of cheesecake thing and the chocolate in there. It's really interesting just how the flavours in this beer blend together. and you can definitely pick up some of these blueberry flavours. If you just go behind the front curve of the tongue there, you can detect that little oily bubble where the fruity esters come out. The blueberries are there, but for me there's also a little bit of a red kind of candied fruit ester. As I always say, the Haribo Star Mix Heart Sweeties, if you take the red bit from that, that is the kind of candied fruit ester you're getting out of this beer that mixes with those blueberries. But yeah, the middle of the palate is dominated by the chocolatey side of things, the vanilla's in there, and within that vanilla you're getting the nutty elements, the cakey flavour. Maybe there's a tiny little bit of a woody flavour to this as well, but the cakey character is really, really nice. This is it's, It just amazes me, you have this kind of trademark style of Omnipoyo, and they've added that little bit of quirky fruit character that you get from Dugas into this one, and that works out nicely, you get that nice, very juicy blueberry character in this one and it's just backed up with a little bit of red fruity ester but it just amazes me they have this trademark style and they can vary it so much flavor wise just with really subtle additions to the brew that's one of the things that really interests me as a chemist and physicist of course it really interests me about the way that Omnipoyo brew their beers it's really cool and it's kind of odd actually when I'm putting the beer up to actually take a little bit I'm almost getting a little kind of odd minty aroma out of it it just it's just a very subtle thing maybe it's just my brain playing tricks on me but I almost get that little bit of minty almost like toffee mint character when I'm taking this one up but it's the cheesecake it, it, my first instinct is to think mint but the aroma that comes out as you take it up is definitely cheesecake that's the other thing that's really amusing the Noah pecan mud pie was another one that had that really distinct if you know the different types of cakes and stuff you can smell the aromas right off in this beer and as I say that's very very cool mm. but yeah this beer is beautiful for me there's pretty much no hop presence in this one around the edge of the tongue very very smooth a little bit wet I mean maybe there's a tiny tiny little bit of earthiness in the back corner of the palate as you come further forward it smooths out and then really it's the fruit characters at the front of the palate there it's a very very malt dominated beer so as I say underneath a little bit of kind of roasted cocoa character then you've got the sweet chocolate the vanilla mixing in with that and the cakey flavours there really dominating some nuts maybe a little bit of woody flavour a bit of caramel too that really distinct cheesecake flavour it comes out particularly more in the aftertaste it's not so obvious right away and you've got the blueberries at the front of the palate and it's you know the main points take away from this review 
This beer is outstanding. It's another really awesome imperial stout. And I like what I like about this one is you've just got that little bit of the trademark Dugas fruit character coming out of this one. And it works really, really well with the beer. So hopefully there's another few uh, collaborations come out of this partnership with Omnipoyo and Dugas as well. I think this beer was, it must have been brewed at Dugas Bragery in Gothenburg. So, but it's another truly outstanding beer and I think it is limited and the, there's a bourbon barrel aged version coming a bit later on so if you get the chance to try either of them definitely do it mm. but in terms of the mouthfeel of this one I would say this one it is full bodied but it's a little bit lighter than the other imperial stouts that I've had from Omnipoyo before it is a little bit lighter and that's probably more of the fruity character that'll be the Dugas side of the beer coming out there it's got a good oily mouthfeel but that said it's on the lighter side of oily that nice juicy character is coming out the carbonation is very smooth there's a big malty sweetness to this one there's a nice not quite tart but juicy fruit character those blueberries there add a really nice dimension to the beer there's a little bit of roasted bitterness the fruity juicy character like I say and there's almost a tiny little bit of spiciness comes out with that roasty bitterness in the aftertaste the sort of cakey side of things but in this one the cake side of the beer is a bit more sweet and you, as I say the when they say it's a blueberry cheesecake stout you've got the typical imperial stout elements in there and then the blueberries are there in the start of the flavour and the cheesecake just comes out at the end so they've done it perfectly and as I say it's a very cool and very very experimental beer so if you get the chance to try this I really would recommend you to two pretty damn awesome Swedish breweries involved in this one so if you want a taste of Swedish beer this is one for you but yeah um, I hope you've enjoyed this review as always uh, really cool to try another one of these experimental beers two breweries that I really quite like involved in this one but as always if you have tried this beer for yourself let me know in the comments section below always interesting to hear from you guys that are watching the videos let me know what your favourite Omnipoyo beers are actually I do want to review more of them but they are a little bit difficult to get in Sweden without buying a full crate and obviously I just try one beer at a time but do let me know your favourite Omnipoyo beers anyway. I'd love to review some more of them. Maybe I can get them over in Copenhagen. But until the next time, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Let me know your favourite Omnipoyo beers and your favourite Dugas beers as well. I will return to Dugas fairly soon because I'm about due to do that. But thank you once again for watching my beer reviews. Until the next time, do check out all the social media things. And I will catch you soon with more Omnipoyo and more Dugas beer reviews. And hopefully I can review the bourbon barrel aged version of this when it comes out in a few months time. Until next time, skull just now and I will catch you soon. Cheers.